Welcome to another episode of the roasting series where my audience pays me to roast them on Patreon. So everything you're about to hear is completely consensual. Like, trust me, they, they need this. I, I need this at this point, right? <laughs> Let's see what kind of garbage we got today. Hi, bro. You're letting us pay you to suffer through our music. Good deal. I signed me up. Here's a song I made. The smell of rain is different here. Okay. Well, it's kind of a bop. Bro. This bass is kind of tight, bro. Like, I can't even tell if this is MIDI or not. Bro, I don't know, there's something about this uh, juxtaposition. You kind of established this as like a positive vibe and then kind of took us in a different direction uh, by going down that. Uh, so as if you introduced us to this place and then we were like, oh yeah, this, these are happy vibes. And then you kept modulating and we're like, whoa, these are weird vibes, bro. And then we're like, oh, the smell of rain is different here, you know? <laughs> this, is, this is cool. Okay, I'm not gonna roast you. Darren Fitz. Hey Rudy, would be sick if you could roast my doom, blah blah blah. Veil of Cluid. Cluid. For my bedroom project, Veil of Cluid. That should say everything we need, you know? There's no gent to be heard, which I'm sure you'd appreciate. It's not overly technical. And more in the vein of Opeth. Okay, so so far today, no complaints really. So in this song, you kind of like, it took you like 45 seconds to do anything, right? But then after that, you kind of went heavy. But like, even though the, like the heaviness is slow and droning, it's so short that it makes it so much more intense. Because if the whole song is this heavy and just like droning, you're not going to feel the heaviness heaviness even if you look at the waveform bro it just looks like a huge block so that shit just like the weight was dropped on our shoulders you know and then after that you know it went into this little journey with a little guitar solo and the ending resolution here it's all there bro so i have no complaints mate vitali shemetovets vitali is here <laughs> <laughs> Who talks like that, bro? The video is self-produced with no proper budget, equipment, and experience, so I guess it's better to focus on the music. 
still we've tried to be creative with editing make the video blend with the song okay oh damn you dude that was from like september that's crazy The video doesn't look bad for a self-produced whatever, you know? I'm sorry, what? You can't, bro. Do you know what you just did? <laughs> Dude, you just built this up for 40 seconds. M made me, made it seem like this is the heaviest song in the world. And then what I'm about to hear is gonna f blow my mind, right? Listen to this. Dude, you made, you made it seem like I was opening up the gates to hell. Lucifer is on the other side about to sword fight me. And then when that riff, second riff started, I felt like I was in like, there's rainbows around me and like, People want to pay for my lunch. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> By the way, I love how like you're like, oh, we just we just tried to make the video seem more like the song. There's no lyrics in the song. <laughs> There's a lot of nudity in the video, right? So I don't know how you hear music, bro. So this is what I understood from this, right? I think the song is called Somnia, right? Which in my head is like insomnia. But if you listen to this riff, man, it's like the riff had such a constant motion. You know, the bass note kept changing in the riff and then the riff kept going. It was such like a constant thing here, listen. Right? So there are all these new places that the riff is taking us. Things are like different twists and turns you're trying to take to solve whatever is happening with the insomnia person, right? But it's just not working. Eggs. Usually when people do like a cut this fast, it's it's something usually scary, right? But here you're like, let's do let's do eggs this time, guys. Okay. So listen, listen, I don't know what's happening today, bro, but nothing's really bothering me so far. You guys kind of built this up in a very dumb way, man. Like you really undermined what you could have done. But I feel, but I feel because this was so delayed, I got more satisfied with it. Mason, I'm really big fan of your content. You definitely peaked with it and it's just been downhill since. Bro, what do you mean you peaked with it? It's, you have 300 views. A lot of dark stuff today, like uh, black metal vibes. What am I looking at, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
not gonna lie, I like the mixture of like the studio footage with like the rest of the stuff you've been doing. Uh, like it's like cringy, but like in a good way. The riffing is like heavy and stuff, right? But it's more like traditional metal riffing, you know? And um, you're kind of like going through this journey of riffs, which is like different stuff that's happening in a five minute song. But in the end, like how many, how many more changes can I get through before I want to kill myself? When you have a song over five minutes, that means like you're kind of telling us that you have a bigger story to tell than normal people, right? People who talk a lot in real life sometimes don't have anything to say. So this is the same vibe here, bro. Like, okay, next one is from Sean McNair. Love your channel. We are ready to be consensually roasted. Heaven you made by last to fall. Dude, what the fuck? The intro itself is 15 seconds, but then you have this little section before you introduce that second guitar. So your intro is like this, right? One third of it is like this riff, and the second third is is a third. <laughs> Imagine. It just sounds weird, bro. It's, I don't know, it was just so abrupt to introduce it so early and then have it last so long without any sort of motion or movement in it. So you guys have a you guys have like a good overall like tone. Uh, even though like the singing was like expected to be a bit heavier to me, I don't know. Uh, but like you seem very young, bro. Like you're like maybe what 15, 18 max. Like yeah, it works for me, bro. It's pretty catchy. So uh, it seems like uh, people are starting to step it up a bit, right? But but like who really is losing in this situation? You know, this video is sponsored by Guitar Quest, which is Rob Scallon's guitar course which is basically designed around making learning guitar fun, right? So it's more like a video game approach where you like beat levels and stuff. And in these levels, you'd be advancing through different techniques and stuff with the guitar. So it's pretty cool. Check it out. Definitely if you're interested in learning guitar or just getting guitar lessons from Rob Scallon, bro. That's pretty sick. So check it out in the description, bros. Guitar You and Guitar Quest are having sales for Black Friday. They have some bundles where you can save up to 80%. So go check it out. See what's like interesting to you, bro. And uh, that's it. Let's get back to roasting people. Ovidio Florin Bun. Hey, man. Roast our high budget music video. Okay, so so far we've had low budget music videos. Good music. Decent. And the videos were not bad either. So this video is high budget. Let's see if, if anything is going to be high. <laughs> what the fuck? This is pretty new. So like, you guys seem pretty popular. <laughs> this video is hilarious, bro. Like, in a bad way, but in a good way too. <laughs> I can't tell what language this is. What language is this? This is like so bad that it's good, man. The music is so cringy, but like in a good way, right? Yeah, and your editor, like whatever you gave him, bro, like send me some of that stuff, you know? Like, I like these little like people who don't take themselves seriously, right? 
Esteban, he just said balls. That we're dealing with an uh, intellect, you know? <laughs> so, so far, everybody's been working so hard on their videos, like not a single bad music video. And then this guy puts a JPEG of like a, a rose. legit sounds like a good guitar store like what the hell close your eyes tell me tell me what you see bro <laughs> guitar center right like there's like three three guitars and like a bass and then nothing is cohesive together and in the mix too they're not cohesive together like everything is so like spread out it's like So I love when you decide to have a lot of guitar tracks, right? And you decided that none of them are going to be in tune today. Like, he's like, let's record this, but let's leave the tuning up to the gods. Why do I care about this melody? Like, I don't know. Let's add distortion to this guitar, but let's still not tune it. I'm just wondering, like, did you listen to this before you exported it or... This feels like a full body massage, but with like knives. I feel like I'm being stabbed everywhere with like different sounds, but none of them feel good on my skin, bro. Yeah. Please stop, stop it. Bro, bro, you have, too, you have too many things going on, but you needed only to focus on one thing, bro, which is like right here is the fucking melody. Distorted guitars, bro. My, highlight that for me, man. Like it doesn't have to be like, like everything was so Oh, bro like you couldn't hear what was happening and like even though the melody is cringy as fuck i could have at least tolerated it but like you decided to make that impossible tanvir kabir so so tanvir last time seems you had problems with my song not having enough changes blah 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 straight to it This is giving me like power metal vibes with neoclassical um combined, right? And this is like straight riffage. Let's see where it goes, bro. I'm telling you now. If you decide to go into like a cringy clean vibe after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna quit. Okay. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Now we're going into this oriental vibe, which is cool. I love that shit, bro. You didn't have any oriental setups for me to, to really be excited about, about this, right? Use Phrygian or something uh, to kind of build up to the lo location. Phrygian riff right before and then the percussions started. And I'm like, it's true, I am in the Middle East now. <laughs> Shredded, we did some riffage, and then we did this oriental theme thing. Like, man, you're doing a lot of interesting stuff. It's just you're focusing so hard on, on hitting that vibe. It's like you set up this perfect in environment for you to tell me something, but then you didn't tell me anything. Feels like you stood me up on a date, Tanvir. What's happening? 
But you, you know what I'm saying, man? Like, just establish something for me, man. Take me on a journey instead of taking me on a journey without really describing to me what I'm seeing. Okay, hey, Rudy, I really like your stuff, so please go ahead and roast the track. <laughs> Event Horizon. The synth heavy post rock with alt rock and metal influences here and there. This is this is your genre. This is how you describe your genre to me right now, bro. I hope you listen to the whole track, bro. You're dreaming. Okay. At least it's four minutes. Isn't that the Billie Eilish song, bro? Do you know what I'm- you know which one I'm talking about? What you've done so far was so uninteresting to me that I forgot I was listening to music for a second. You're like, please listen to the whole thing. Bro, let's 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 see. <sighs> it's like This is so weird, man. This is so weird. This is bothering me so much to listen to, like, psychologically. I don't know if you meant to do that, but like, if you did, like, congratulations, bro. It's like all this same vibe. Like, I feel like I'm on a different planet and I'm just trying to run away between security guards. of human space exploration like it felt like i explored a lot but i never really found my what i was looking for right at the end of this journey because i didn't find what i was looking for this higher creature i don't know what you want to consider it here like an omnipresent god telling me what the f is happening right yeah i don't know man like no complaints really this is amazing what's happening today bro honestly Okay, Alexander, big fan of your channel. I know you like instrumental, so I'm very interested in your roasting my post-metal project. Yeah, a content creator, you really need to start using Artlist royalty-free music and sound so. effects. It's not, they're not mutually exclusive, you know. <laughs> Firefly waterfalls, nothing is true, everything is permitted. God damn, that's the shittiest title I've ever heard. It's another five minute song, but already one minute in, like, I don't know what's happening. Right. You know, for a band called Firefly Waterfalls, I expected you to be less heavy, right? Okay, so very heavy, vistas, vast, stuff is happening, everything's permitted, cool.
I'm just like, what is the function of this? You know, like, what do you intend to do with this? I don't know. Official audio stream. <laughs> yeah, I was so worried this was not authentic. I don't know, man. Five minutes of this? I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe if like I'm very bored, but it's, you're not providing anything for me here. Next one is from Maricoso, Malch Rosso, Malc Rosso, Marco Rosso, March L Rosso. Rudy, how you doing, mate? Long time fan, ready to get roasted. Hope you some mixed blues with the basify all the metal you get all the time. Just a heads up, the whole EP is half in English, half in Neapolitan. It's about life in London. Damn. And it's acoustic blues. I know it's very niche. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. I don't think someone, I don't think anyone has to do this, but you, you go ahead, bro. Spotify. Dude, I hate people. Why would you, why would you send me a Spotify link, man? What's wrong with you? Was it this the accent I was doing when I was reading your post? Like, how did I predict what it was gonna be? What the hell? This is so dumb, but it's like, if I was drunk in the pubs of London, you know, at 4 a.m., what do you think I'm gonna be listening to? I'm gonna be listening to this, bro. Anyway, next one is from Ego Therapy again. Hey, love your recipes. Best home cooking channel out there. Thanks, man. Playing your own drums, bro. That's sick. That's crazy. It seems like you have um, you have a synth like layered up with the guitars. So so, you guys notice how like complicated, like the vibe is here, right? Like so much is going on, but you notice how there's only one thing he's telling me at a time, so it's very easy to follow. Even though he's doing, he's showing me three things he's doing, but it's so easy to follow because of the way he's delivering it, right? That's interesting but, but before we get to that i feel like you've introduced to me like the love story part of your title <laughs> it was such a you know a linear thing happening but then here i don't know what you're doing and it just seems like the propaganda machine has started right because like there's so much information at the same time but i don't know what to believe in very clever bro
gonna lie, that solo was kind of boring uh, for me. It could have been a bit more interesting. He kind of set it up to be more interesting with the riffage. And then you bend out a two and bro, what? Okay. Okay, we get, get back to this. Uh, yeah, you, you hit a lot of good things in, with this, bro, but you also hit a lot of bad things. But I think the good is a bit more than the bad, so I feel like everybody improved. There's one from Jameson Tyler Bynum. Uh, let's see if you've improved, bro. He says, I wanted you and your audience to know I've improved. That's very wholesome. Oh, in the air tonight again? <laughs> There's no video of you singing so much. That's kind of boring. I just want to hear you sing, bro. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. You didn't fix the melody? What? Like, this is not even. Like, why would you. Ch <laughs> we. St we talked about this, bro. Why would you change the melody of the original song? Take a book and, and change it, right? Add a couple of pages. But shit, bro, like you kind of ripped out all the pages here from the gecko, right? feel like you're struggling with the lows. But it's weird because you're struggling with the highs too. Strengths. Very nice hi hat recording, bro. Like I nice hi hat dot mp3. Okay, bro, and guitar solo. Why don't you ever solo in key, bro? I don't know, man. Like, it seems like you're trying so hard. Just like, I don't know who it was, but you're trying so hard to establish Tanvir. You're like Tanvir, bro. You're, you guys are like est est establishing this huge environment, man. Just to say like so little, right? Like, I don't think this needs to be an epic. The last one is from a couple homies in Lebanon. I don't think I know the guy. They actually worked on a music video and like the people who did work on the music video, I kind of like went to college with them. So that's pretty cool, bro. This clip was shot in 175 different locations. If Game of Thrones like described to us how many wardrobe outfits they have, bro, like for a music video, like that's a lot. So. Cool shots, cool room, cool set design. That sounds, it sounds like someone is mouthing this bro. <laughs> It doesn't sound like a guitar, but that's... I think you know, like, I think you kind of want that to happen, right? Guys, guys have a lot of patience to just like go to a bunch of locations and shoot, bro. Like driving in Lebanon, bro, kill me. It's an interesting melody. It's kind of like a happy melody, but it kind of has like this uh, mystery to it, right? So I'm like, oh shit, what's gonna happen next? Very cool shots.
juxtaposition of horizontal juxtaposition of these two axes I very cool bro that's cool Has rented a horse, bro. So we built up. We we built up to uh, this uh, little section, Oriental section, right? Kind of. So it seems like we're, you've, we've built, you're kind of building on the same melody here, which is cool. And then here we started shredding more and more, and then... More diminished shred mix. And then it takes us somewhere else. Like, okay, shit, three minutes and a five minutes and a half, five minute and a half song, and we're still like kind of... Bro, where, where are we going? We kept running around, right, right, all these locations and stuff. But judging by these dreams, like it seems like we are running around. You're showing us what your dreams are made of, which is kind of very narcissistic. If, this, if these are your dreams, right? Uh, usually, someone's dreams are is from their point of view. So I don't know why you would see yourself in your dream, but like, good for you, bro. Okay, so we. But this feels like a fever dream, honestly, at this point. And then maybe like an out-of-body experience kind of vibe. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy, like, visual like, effects, bro. Uh, good stuff guys this video is like a lot of effort musically i feel like you know when you have a lot of good experiences and you don't even know what to remember it's like a joy overload that at the end nothing really stuck out to me it was all just like a dream and when, once i woke up i forgot everything that happened not a bad thing at least we experienced it we experienced it right anyway this is it for today if you do want to get roasted check out patreon in the description or if you just want to support the channel for some reason also check out patreon in the description